Okay, well, welcome to our next project. Um, today we're actually taking a, uh, it's actually a natural branch that we found and we're going to go ahead and um, turn it into like a snowy branch for a retail store display window. And uh, what you want to make sure is if you're buying these and they're already dry, that's great. If you're finding them out in the forest, make sure they dry uh, really well because otherwise um, the paint or whatever you're using on the branch will actually not adhere to the branch and it could fall off. So make sure you're working with dry wood. That's point number one. Point two is we want it to really look like snow and we're going to be using a clear glitter and clear glitter over a natural wood. It's kind of kind of look like a pretzel, like with salt on it it's going to not necessarily have a really pretty look. So what we've done is pre-sprayed this with white so that the clear glitter will be sitting over the white so it should look like snow uh, as opposed to a pretzel. So we're hoping. Okay, so we're going to go in ahead and cover uh, three different kinds of um, adhesives. Uh, the first one is the Scotch Super 77. This particular glue is the only kind of spray glue that we really recommend. Um, it's a professional grade glue. And the thing that makes it special is that it doesn't soak into whatever you spray it on. A lot of these glues, other brands, uh, you spray it on it, it actually soaks in and it becomes um, really not very tacky at all. This one will actually sit on the surface of whatever you spray it on. It won't soak in and it gives you a little bit of uh, time to play with it uh, before it dries up. So this is the only spray glue but we'll go into this a little bit further because there are some drawbacks, even um, though it's a great glue. The second one we're going to do is Mod Podge, which is our favorite. Um, this is a great glue. It's very clear. It's gloss. Uh, it goes onto almost any surface you put it on. Uh, so we, you can apply it onto the branch, put your, your glitter on, and uh, it's, it's definitely the recommended one. But there's a drawback to it, too, and that is it, it takes a long time to put the glue on. But it is going to give you your best product, so we'll go into that in a minute. And then the third is actually just paint. So if I chose not to spray paint this, which I did with the uh, spray paint, I could have actually brushed real paint onto it. In this case, it's a gloss white. And I could have brushed the white onto it and then put the glitter onto it. And uh, just to show you, I will, I will actually do that. Even though this is painted, I will actually uh, apply some and show you how that works because there's a few tricks to actually using paint as an adhesive. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to... Um, set this area up. Right now we've got this nice big branch and if we were to throw glitter it would go all over our glitter tent and we wouldn't be able to capture it. So we're going to go ahead and put up a plastic sheet, a drop cloth, that is going to go in the back and around the sides so that when we put the glitter on we'll be able to collect it and reuse whatever has fallen. Okay so we're going to um, do our uh, retail store branch and we're going to make it look like snow. So this is our first uh, adhesive and application. We're going to be taking a gloss white paint and I'm going to apply it with a brush and uh, we're going to just going to put it in this section right here and then we're going to use just the, the simple drop method which I'm sure everyone's familiar with where we're just going to be dropping uh, the glitter onto it. So the important thing about paint is that uh, I really like to use gloss. One, it takes longer to dry so it gives you more time to work, but two, it also is glossy and so is glitter so it's kind of helping the glitter be even more glossy. So if you see a little bit of the paint through uh, the glitter, it's also going to have a gloss. So you don't have to use gloss, I just recommend it. Um, and then if, like, if you for some reason wanted to have a pink snow, you could print, you know, you could certainly do your branch pink and then put a clear over it and you would get a, a pink branch, uh, but that, that it would look like snow. It would just look like pink snow. So you don't have to do white on white. We're just kind of going for the traditional snow look today. So here we go. I'm just going to uh, brush on a small section here and do a little test for you. You do not want to thin this paint. You want it to be thick. You want to apply it thickly. Um, you need to have a lot of uh, adhesive for that glitter to attach itself to. Um, if you put it on really thin, it, one, it dries faster, but two, it just doesn't there's not enough for the uh, glitter to grab onto, so you definitely need to um, go thick. It's too much here. Um, it's going to be really tempting to just paint your branch and then go in glitter. You, you aren't going to have that luxury. Your, your paint's going to dry way too quickly. So you're going to want to make sure that you just do it in sections. Okay, so there's my paint. 
and we're going to do, like I said, the drop method where you're literally just taking the glitter and you're carefully dropping it onto the surface of the paint. Um, because this branch is small, we could certainly put it on its side and it might be easier to apply, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to be doing it in the worst case scenario as if your branch couldn't be moved and it had to be done upright. Um, sometimes using your second hand to bounce it off is helpful. You can literally just bounce it off the one hand and it bounces straight onto the uh, surface. So the bounce method is really handy. We'll do a little close up for you later on that. But it's a really good way to, to get that done. So we'll take a close up shot of this in a minute. But for now, um, right there, that looks a lot like snow. It's very, very sparkly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get a close up and do that for you. Then we're going to go on and do the Mod Podge method next, OK? So we're um, going to be setting up to do uh, our second adhesive, which is going to be Mod Podge. And uh, this is something you can find at just about any craft store. Um, we also sell it on bulkglitters.com. Uh, we also sell it in gallons, so if you've got like a parade float or you know, something really big, uh, we can definitely uh, hook you up with gallons. They're kind of hard to find um, at your craft store. Anyway, Mod Podge, recommend the gloss, um, because again, same theory as the paint, uh, it's shiny and so is glitter. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you're not seeing glitter, you're at least seeing shine. So that's why we always go with the gloss. And what I didn't talk about before was the flake size that I used. And because it's a store window, I wanted to go for a nice large flake. So I went for what we call the fat flakes. And it's a nice big flake. And in a store window, it's really going to pop. Um, what I have here is our Colossal. And it's our point, uh, 0.125, which is an eighth inch. It's huge. And it's beautiful. It kind of looks like fish scales. It's just, it's really, really lovely glitter. And what I'm going to do is apply the Mod Podge on this side of the branch. And then I'm going to apply two different sizes. Because sometimes when you have the two different size flakes, the eye, um, it grabs even more light. Like one just shines off the other uh, really beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and brush Mod Podge and do the drop method on here. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. And again, you want to be liberal with this. Um, it is clear, so no one's going to see it. And you want to make sure that you have plenty of time uh, to apply, and you want to make sure that there's plenty of glue for the glitter to stick to. So this is not a time to, uh, to be stingy. The best part about um, the glue and the paint is if you miss a spot, you can always go back in. You know, it, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, you can always go back in and do little spots uh, that you missed before. Uh, okay, so when you do the um, two different size method, I highly recommend that you um, mix them, uh, like in a container, like I'm going to do it in the cap here, uh, before you apply it. Because otherwise, if you do a drop and then you do a drop, the first size is going to stick the second size isn't really going to stick, so you don't get that a nice effect. So go ahead and take some of your glitter, each size, give it a good mix, like so. And then again, do the, do the drop method um, or the bounce method. So I'm going to start with the drop, which is just, you know, straight drop. And again, on a vertical surface, you're only going to get so much effect on that. And then you're going to do the bounce method, which is where I take my hand and I hold it up and I bounce it off the one hand and then it bounces straight on. And I think before we finish the video, we'll do a little close up of that so you can see what it looks like. It's starting to look like snow here. So here we go. 
we did the Mod Podge on top. We mixed the two sizes together. We applied it, and uh, it's just going to sit there and it's going to dry. Uh, we're going to move on to our next uh, our next method, which is going to be spray glue, which is quite messy, but we're we're up for it. We're on our final uh, our final step here. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about uh, Super 77 in the middle of a windstorm. Um, Super 77 is, like I said, really the, the only glue that I recommend. Um, I've, I've used pretty much everything. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Maybe maybe 10 different brands. And this is just really the only one that I use um, when I really mean it. And when I'm glittering, I really mean it because you want to have a really good, good uh, glue surface when you start um, glittering. And the other glues just soak in so fast, you have no time to work. This one, um, the instructions are going to tell you on the back that you're supposed to let it get tacky and that's when, you know, you actually would apply the, um, you know, paper or whatever you're applying. In glitter case, no. You spray and immediately stick the glitter on it. You do not wait for it to get tacky. You don't wait at all. You literally are spraying and putting the glitter on immediately. Um, it's very, very important. Do not follow the can instructions on that point. However, there's always a drawback, and this is, it's toxic. Um, you want to use this outside. You want to be very, very careful not to breathe it. We are outside right now, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> we have an outside tent for these sort of things. And so it also oversprays. Another, another thing, so it's going to get all over the place. Now, in our case, we have put up our, our cloth, and it's going to be sufficient. So we've done our final setup for glue, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, spray this section only. I'm going to spray it like crazy. And then I'm going to do something really fun, and instead of throwing glitter at it, I'm actually going to fire up our glitter gun, which is a manual gun. Um, we have a video on how to use this, and you can watch the full video on it, but it, it's actually extremely simple. Basically, as a hopper, you put the glitter into the hopper, close it up, uh, you give it a little prime, which will make some, a little sploosh of glitter come out, and then you're good to go. And uh, you'll get to see it in action here. It's probably the most effective for covering a large surface and sort of an uneven surface. Uh, you saw how long it took for me to do the, the drop uh, method. Well, uh, it's, this is instant. Um, personally, if I had time, I would probably uh, still use the Mod Podge or the paint as my adhesive instead of the spray. And I would use this for my application of the glitter instead of the drop method. So if I had you know, my choice. Now, um, the glue is very slow to put on as you saw. But this is very fast, so it's probably about the same. Um, the reason why I'm sort of not uh, thrilled about using the Super 77 with this is that it tends to kind of bounce when it doesn't have a really deep glue. So when you see me spray this, I'm going to be spraying it really, really thick, uh, which is sort of horrifying to most people who've used glue because you always want to make a nice light coat, not with glitter. You want to actually put a lot on and, uh, and make it, you know, it's clear, so you won't see it, but you got to put a lot on. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break for a moment. Actually, you know what? You'd probably like to see me do this. I'm going to go ahead and load the glitter gun up right here on the video. One second. I'm going to be going ahead and using uh, the fat flakes that we talked about earlier. I'm going to go ahead and load up the hopper. Um, this is way, way more than we'll need, but I, I put in, I hope you can see that, I, I put in about uh, half a hopper's worth. Okay, I'm doing the little prime splooch where the kind of goes out in the mess. Now I'm all ready to roll. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it behind here because I don't want it to get sprayed. And now I'm going to spray. Anything that you do not want glue on at this point should be removed from the vicinity because this stuff will go everywhere. Okay, there we go. You can see it dripping out of the nozzle. A total no-no with spray glue, and yet... And then, the next section.
The nozzle can be adjusted up, down, left, right, whatever you need it to do, which is very handy for tree branches. Allows you to change your angle and so forth at whatever angle you're at and wherever you can get in. So another reason why I love using this gun. Okay, great. Um, so at this point, we've covered the three uh, adhesives and two different kinds of application. We're going to do a few close-ups for you now, and uh, then we're done. Thanks. Just doing a little paint work up close so you can kind of see. So we've applied a little bit of paint here, and we're going to do the drop method here. A little bit of a close-up so you can see what's done here. And see how on the side of the branch it just kind of falls off? That's when I use the drop method. We'll, we'll come over from the top and you can see where I can bounce it off my hand and sideways it just goes straight onto the branch. Yeah, you'll get a little pain on you, but that's just part of, you know, being crafty. Okay, so you can actually get it down the side. Now we're going to take a close-up so you can see that I was able to get the glitter on the side through the bounce method where I'm literally bouncing it off the side of my hand and it bounces the ricochets off my hand and onto the side. You have to hold your hand very, very close to pull that off, but it does work really well. Okay, so in some cases, like let's say in here, um, you're just having a really heck of a time getting glitter into some of these spots, but you really want the whole thing to be covered. So what you can do is actually, um, you know, get yourself a little container of glue and you're actually just making kind of a glitter glue where you're actually going to add the glitter onto the glue do a little mix with your brush um, and you're actually creating a glitter glue which will dry clear and you can apply it to those really hard to reach areas and of course when it goes on you know it looks chunky but it, it does dry clear and it will give you the look you're after so it just goes on a little scary I wouldn't use it for the whole branch, um, but certainly for little hard to reach spots, um, it's a good way to go. And then of course you can always come in with a little bit of loose glitter and just kind of drop it over the top for good measure if you can reach it. But anyway, uh, that's just a little trick to make a little glitter glue just in case for those uh, hard to reach spots. Okay, great. So one final tip we're going to do, see underneath this branch, it doesn't have any um, glitter on it. I'm going to go ahead and just show you a, a real quick and easy method to do that. So we're going to go ahead and, um, in this case, we're using the Mod Podge because we happen to have it right here with a brush. And I'm going to put a nice heavy coat on it. Okay. And in this case, it's not practical to drop it. It's not, you can't really bounce it. So you just, uh, you know, do what, do what comes natural, which is basically to, uh, Go ahead and load your hand up with glitter, okay? And you're just pressing it, like so. And as long as you have plenty of glitter in your hand, you aren't going to get a lot of glue on you. So you can do the whole project without worrying about it. And you can see, there you go. It's uh, completely coated. If you... Okay? So um, if it was white paint, you would see, you know, it being even whiter. But in this case, we're kind of going for that light dusting of snow on a new branch. Uh, so that kind of gives us that effect right there. So pressing up underneath um, is the quickest and easiest way to do underneath a branch. And it can actually go rather quickly. You're literally just pressing right up the branch uh, so it goes really fast. Okay.